Hello everybody, I am the Wasteland Viking and welcome back to Warhammer 40k Gladius as the Necron. So, it's been a couple days since I've played this, actually quite a few days, um, and Order Cities, but last time we finally got things underway for our second city and we're slowly trying to get our loyalty up and going so that it's one good and also if we want to expand and grow on that we can. Right now, I've been saving on resources. Um, okay, so we're getting the Stele here kind of soon, so that's a good start. I think I've just been sitting and waiting on resources, to be honest. So yeah, let's do that. But, um, yeah, I, I had an all right weekend. Played some D&D &D on Saturday because that's my family's D&D &D day. Um, and yeah, so, fun times. Ooh, heavy destroyers. Okay. They are powerful anti-armor infantry units. Armed in oversized gauss cannons, heavy destroyers send blazing energy blasts searing across the battlefield. These heavily armed adherents of the destroyer cult guild across uh, scorched earth, scanning for victims, the flickering light of their weapons energy uh, cores echoing the cold hatred in their optics. When a heavy destroyer's targeting lens focuses upon an enemy, the battlefield recedes in its mind until only a hunter and prey remain. The compulsion to kill drowning out everything else. So, pretty good armor. A little more hit points than our other people. Spe oh, as far as... Yeah. I just looked at the Tomb Blade's health. It's not very powerful, anyway. Same morale, all that fun stuff. But they have heavy Gauss cannons. Eight damage. Um, they have two attacks. Um, armor penetration of seven. Accuracy nine. So they have the Gauss atomic flares that increases the armor penetration and heavy reduces the accuracy after moving. So they're one of those good ones to move and just sit and then they can shoot and they do a lot of damage. But yeah, it's really good stuff. Yeah, so annihilate uh, our tomb blades, not annihilation barges. Yeah, seriously, it stutters and drops down to 20 FPS. I have no idea why. Um, anyway. Yeah, I mean, obviously everybody has Overwatch. Oh, we have another annihilate, I mean, another tomb blade. Wow, I need to stop saying Annihilation Barges. Anyway, let's wait on that. But I had a good weekend. D&D uh, &D time. It was a lore-heavy session, which I'm alright with. And uh, yesterday was a pretty chill day. You know... So yeah, all right, uh, you, I mean, we could go here, they will get shot at. Shouldn't take too much damage, yeah, there we go, it's not that bad, but, ba-bam. I don't think they have rapid fire. Oh, they actually do, holy shit, I didn't realize that. Well, that's cool. But yeah, these guys can actually go over wire weed, it's pretty good. Oh. But I'm sending my guys down there so that we can take care of the rebel Necron army. Okay, you're getting that. Um, yeah, I'm not going to worry about rapid rising anything because that's a waste of influence, to be honest, right now. So... I think one of the next things to build here, I need to, well, our research is done, so I think I'll do Annihilation Barges next, probably. Um, and then I'll get a unit of Heavy Destroyers in my other city. But yeah, um, acquire another tile, I guess, maybe? It's not a bad idea to require tiles. Anyway, Heavy Destroyers. I mean, we got plenty of everything. I could rapidize you, I don't mind doing that. Yeah, alright. Choose research. 
Let's do destroyer lords. They're lords that are on heavy destroy that are heavy destroyers pretty much. They're really good. Also on tabletop, they're they're dope. They're really, really good. Alright, so they ran off. We healed. We're good. Oh. God. Well. Send you over here. Oh. There's a heavy destroyer. Oh, that's a destroyer lord. I'm guessing that's part of the uh, rebel Necron army. So I was coming over here so I could scout out a little bit, but uh, yeah. Chaos protects this realm, I guess. So I think what I'm going to do is have these guys come over here and uh, wait, to be honest. There you go. Our beautiful boys. Part of me, in general, as a sci-fi thing, have always thought it weird, whether it's robotic or not, having, like, the half body of, like, a person and then the rest of it be, like, a hovering you know, device, I guess. I don't know. You know, it's just that kind of thing. I don't know. It's not, it's not a huge deal. It's not like a phobia for me or anything like that, but it's it's sometimes weird. All right. Um. Yeah, I'm just going to wait on resources. All right, well, we know where they're at. Yeah, see, they're going to get their ass kicked. Yeah, see, their health is not good. Bye-bye. Well, shit. Okay. Why are you attacking my city? I mean, it's going to kick your ass next turn. Bye. Alright, and you can actually head back up. Uh, let's send our fodder up first. Like I keep saying I should do, but I always forget to do. Oh, they have jetpack. This unit can move over water and ignores penalties of rivers and wireweed. All right, cool. Preferred enemy increases the accuracy by one. Relentless negates the penalty for heavy and ordnance weapons. All right, so they are heavy, but they can still shoot and yeah, that makes sense because they can actually do that on tabletop. Oh, uh, you can skip. Um, let's just wait, just wait. Yeah, and I think their range, yeah, it's two. All right. I guess we could come up and through here, but it's better than the choke point that we're putting ourselves into, I guess. Ooh, that sounds cool, though. Their movement. I'll send some of my guys around, I think. Destroyer Lords are the most maniacal of their kind. This is chiefly because they retain far more in, in intellect than baseline destroyers and can bring all of their fearsome intelligence to bear in their pursuit of universal oblivion. Indeed, in a galaxy overspilling with genocidal uh, depots, Destroyer Lords remain worthy of mention as something truly horrific, where others kill for pleasure or in service to some malignant malignant god destroyer lords pursue their bloody crusade simply because they can so they got more hit points than even the other destroyers do they are a hero they have jetpack as well 
And also they get all kinds of stuff. Jet charge, Bloody Crusade increases attacks. Destruction protocols increases the attack taken for adjacent enemy units. Okay. And Reaper. That's really good. That's cool. And then Jet Charge. Alright. That's a lot of influence so just to get one of them. I think that's what I'm saving up for. Honestly. I'm going to send my hero over that direction. And send the Heavy Destroyers over through this way because then they could actually go over wire weed and things like that not have a problem. That's actually a lot faster than waiting for everybody just to go through that. What I'm going to do is move you here and hold position. Oh, population is going up and... Alright. Um... You can still wait. For you, though... Okay, we got a little bit of time. I can get a shelter when that tile is done. Which one is it, anyway? I think I decided this one? I don't remember. Because it doesn't show until it actually shows what's going on. And if I click on it, it gets rid of it, so... Skip City. Choose Research. This stuff's good. Wow. That is good. Uh, extra infantry armor is always good. Mortal forms. Increases the healing of living metal. Hunting inscriptions. That would be good. Alli Annihilation barges, I think. Yeah, that's the bottom of the map, so nobody's going to be there anyway. So that's good. Alright, we have to acquire another tile because there isn't any other ones to worry about. Oh, that, that'd be a good one. And it is for you. Oh, it is this one. Okay. Yeah? Uh, yeah. I'll do it. That dude's expensive. I don't remember how many points he is point value he is in uh, the tabletop but he's kind of high up there if I remember right all right now this is where I have to keep the front row of uh, warriors and then you know following tiers probably do a long line of those thing those warriors and then Everything else in behind, pretty much. Yeah, skip you. Could get another set of destroyers. But uh, skip. We're good. Thanks, Kim. Skip. I don't want these guys getting screwed. Okay. No, oh, I. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's get summoning core down here. More ore, I think. Let's acquire that tile, and then we can clear that one up as well. Yeah, they're idiots. The AI is pretty dumb. They do like getting into the, into those for some reason, and then they just end up dying. And it's like, well, no, the. All right, annihilation barge. Annihilation barges are the Necron's favorite anti-infantry support platforms. At the Overlord's command, the annihilation barges' ancient, uh, repulsor sleds, are coaxed back into life, and the vehicles accompany the Tomb World's army to war. Each, to, each is armed with a linked pair of Tesla Destructors. They're really good, by the way. On tabletop as well. Uh, enormous energy cannons that fire arcs of crackling lightning and are 
death to lightly armored targets. So they have Gauss Cannon, which is a lot like our heavy Gauss Cannon, but obviously a little lighter. It has a penetration of 5, which is really good still. And then this thing, accuracy of 10, 6 attacks, 4 damage, no armor penetration. And uh, yeah, Tesla increases the attacks and everything like that. Really good stuff. Living Metal, restore hit points each turn. Uh, open Topped, classification sim vehicles have only a little armor, making them more vulnerable to damage because of their lightweight construction. Which is true, but they have a lot of hit points. A little, a little on the weaker end of armor, but it should be alright. Um, skimmer. He move over water and ignores the penalties of rivers and wireweed and vehicle negates the penalty for heavy and ordnance weapons. So yeah, they are expensive. Um, let's move you to the forefront. Move you back here. Move you guys a little bit further up. Not that much because I really don't want them to die. Um, that's kind of a priority on my list. I can have these guys off to the flanks because they've got pretty good armor and pretty good hit points. Annihilation barge it is. Alright, so that happened. Um, let's get ore. Actually, no, let's get a shelter first. Ah, damn it. Or, or we could do another, get another shrine, Baroque shrine. I think I'll do that. So obviously our population is going to increase, so it's just going to make our loyalty drop. A point, a pointing case I always make, just because it's a, it's a reality. Let's get extra infantry armor. I think, yeah, definitely. Well, we can almost get doomsday arcs. Those are good. Quantum shielding, that's a good one as well. So many good things. Elite jump infantry unit, yes. Okay. So yes, these warriors, for the first little while, are probably just going to die. Uh, I mean, that's what they're there for. Sorry, guys, but you know. A wall of metal. We are slowly moving up. We're not going to be advancing too much. I'm actually going to have him move over there. Let's get you over here. You can actually move here. You can go there. Get some of these guys a little more experienced, I guess. Even though they're already level 3s. Most of our warriors are level 3s, I think. If not all of them. Yeah, I don't know why, but it's, it's been a little glitchy of a game today. Alright, for you, I'm just going to wait. No harm in waiting. Yeah. I wonder where he's going to be going off to. Alright. Oh, they have a Triarch spider, uh, Triarch thing already. Actually didn't hurt me that much either. Curious. That's a lot of chaos. Holy shit. That's a ridiculous amount of chaos, I've gotta say. You can go here. Alright, well, they've got two heavy destroyers. The Triarch Stalker. They've got some stuff. They're going to hit kind of hard. But, anti-armor infantry. That is a Z point. Yeah, my little guys aren't doing anything to them. Which is okay. So yeah, let's have these guys take care of them. Partly anyway, and then we can have these finish them off. All but one. Good times. Alright. That was a lot of events going on. Seeing people, people getting shot at, you know, all that fun stuff. Okay. Yeah, not very expensive, but it's it's a waste because it's just going to be next turn and then the fall. I mean, I don't know. I think I'd rather get the shelters. Yeah. I keep forgetting to actually click, you know, that. But uh, anyway. Ow.
Those guys are gone, I think. Yeah, but one. Under who's going who he's going to take on. Oh, all right. Okay. They're gone. Actually, no. I mean, good. But why is that? I don't know. So they got, I mean, like, compared to other things, they got their asses kicked. Alright. I want to try to get rid of him, or even that, as soon as possible. They're not going to do anything to him. It's these guys I'm worried about, to be honest. Well, and him, of course. And this... This thing's been hurting pretty hard. The heat ray focused. Melta increases the armor penetration at half range. Yeah, those hurt. Oh yeah, let's get rid of these guys. I have an annihilation barge coming in three turns, so that'll help. More destroyers. I'm gonna have these guys hold. Really good stuff. As well. Why not? These guys can help out a little bit on this side. It's not going to do a damn thing, but it'll help a little bit, I guess. Hmm. What's this city doing? Working on, yeah, the summoning core. Okay. Oh, what's your range, dude? Only two, still. Okay. This is kind of intense. I'm... I'm getting my ass kicked. That's for sure. What the fuck are you doing? That's not going to do anything. Throw everything I can at this one unit of destroyers. It might actually just work, though. It's still not enough. Oh, well. Uh, yeah. Let's go there. Fighting against Necron sucks. Um, more heavy destroyers, I guess. Oh yeah, level them up. Uh, increases damage reduction and flies across obstacles to the target tile. That's good, actually. Bloody Crusade, increases attacks by 10%. Level 6, yeah. Let's do that, and then that. I level one up. Oh, there we go. For some reason, my click didn't work. Yeah, that's good. I wish these guys actually fought each other because it makes a lot of sense for that to happen, but it never does. He's gone. Okay, shit. That thing sucks. I mean, it's really, really good, but for attacking it, it really hurts. Yeah, see, they're... I can't even take out one unit of frickin' heavy destroyers and they back off and then, you know, obviously do the healing thing like that. The Necrodermis Repair. I need to retreat. I'm not doing good, guys. I... This is the part of the strategy game I'm not good at. Rush them back to the city? Yeah, all my heavy... My vehicles are gone. That's my thing. All my vehicles are literally just gone. Pot shot, sure. Alright, and you can go here. They can go over water, so I don't know why you can't go over that. I guess it's too tall or something like that? I don't know. Border cities. Could make uh, another tile. Acquire another one. Do that. Oh, damn. 
He's got so much health. Yeah, he's he's gone. My hero's gone. Yep. Bye. I have a better one coming in anyway. I mean, his, his items are gone now, so it's whatever. Well, they're going to be chasing us, so I think going to the city is a good idea. Is that wireweed? Yeah, it is. Heavy destroyer, I guess. Another annihilation barge. Three, two. I actually could. Yeah. Skip. Yeah, they're slowly coming after us. And also, they're like level fives and shit like that. Like, my god. Why? <laughs> Extra infantry armor. Even after millennia of war and sleep, the Necron Cryptex have not lost their desire for innovation. Making minor adaptations to their Necrodermis, they are able to increase the survivability of their troops against the attacks of. Oh, uh, against the weapons of today. Well, good. So, increase it by one. Yep. That's good enough for me. I'm gonna have you hold. I'm gonna move you here. So my god, you're good. They're s they look really cool. That's Annihilation Barge for you. I really love the look of them. They're so freaking cool. Anyway. Hold. They also have Jink, which is really good. Can it move you guys in here? Alright. And then you go down here. I'm all right with this. I'm I'm fine. So we've got the shelter, so we're good. Yeah, I'll do that. Choose research. Hunting inscriptions could always be good. We could get our own triarch stalker. Immortal forms. Oh, increases growth rate of. I, I'm actually not ready for that. Reduces cost of rapid rise towards. Oh, that's just in general. Should I get? Yeah, let's get dimension corridor. This is definitely one of those times where we need it, I think. Yeah, it's anti-infantry, not anti... Oh, but those are... It's gonna hurt. Yeah, it does hurt. Yep. Ow. Necrodermis repair. That's the point of it. I just have enough for it, actually. I think, yeah, it's 60. You, I'm gonna put back here. Can you not move? There we go. For some reason, it didn't work. I don't know why. You guys are still gonna be on hold. You could do that. It's worth it. Alright, you guys. So I need as like almost as many of those as I can. Just gonna wait on that city. This city is what's gonna be producing a lot of the stuff from now on to begin with. This city is what's gonna hurt these guys. Dimensional Corridor grants infantry the ability to teleport to cities and monoliths. And first to walk the Starlight Bridge from Incorporeal to Corporeal was Artemora, Artemora, to whom the Necrontier gave the name Messenger, later changed to Deceiver, with good reason. Fragmentary inscription on a Yokarian defense orb. Alright. Okay, let's have the city take on these guys a little bit. Yeah, because they're in the city. See, that's dumb that you, the enemies get the city bonuses as well. That's so dumb. I don't like that. Anyway, that... 
I could actually... No, I can't move it in there. That's actually a very poor mechanic, I think. It's like, haha, I'm in your city, I'm fine. I uh, know. Mm -hmm. Anyway, let's get that. Like, seriously, we just need to take out the one and we're alright. Or should- or kind of alright. Alright. Um... I don't want to sacrifice more than I have to. I can move you here and just take this guy out, I think. Yeah. That's a terrible idea. Because it's putting him in the spotlight. Yeah, they hurt. These guys suck. So bad. You, I'm going to put you on hold. Oh, even the city level is up. That's actually really cool. I didn't think that was a thing. I didn't know that was a thing, I should say. For you... Wait, I guess because my influence is actually... Lowered a bit. Let's do this. The Triarch Stalker. It's going to take a long time before these guys even get taken out. got to slowly go through the ranks pretty much. Alright. That's fine. Yeah, let's have you take care of that first. Have you go here. Like he said, he's infantry, so for him to actually go over here and take out the immortals and things like that would be a lot better. But, you know. Okay, I think I've kind of figured out a way. But you go in there. You can go over here. Take a little shot at that guy. At least these guys are actually able to come down pretty quickly. I'm just gonna wait. Once again, the AI is dumb. Oh, that, that hurt a bit. Didn't heal him a whole lot, but it did something, I guess. Oh, he's in the wire weed. And he doesn't get uh he doesn't get to negate the penalties for it, so that's actually good. I don't know how much longer he can actually hold for though. Let's actually do that. Oh, I can't do it because that's the action shit. He actually might die. <sighs> Fuck. So you know what? Hold. 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 He can come down here. Is he would actually be able to go through the armor pretty well. These guys will. Unless it's going to be smart and just stays out of the city boundaries. Yeah, I think that's what it'll do. Well, god damn it, he's dead. Fuck sake. I hate when the AI is smart. Yeah, he's. That's not fair. They spawn in at that high of level. <sighs> Poor shit. Yeah, you guys are full health already. Oh god. Yeah, I guess you have to go here then. Fuck you. Let's 
sucks because all of my heavy hitters are like too far away. Okay, that that hit it pretty hard. I that's my problem is that I didn't have enough destroyers to begin with. 0.9 damage, not even worth it. What is the point? Could get that pretty good. He's part of what hurts really bad, actually. So I'm okay with doing what I have just done. More heavy destroyers. Because I don't think I have an anti-vehicle vehicle. Excuse me, except if I do, it's way further down the line. He ran off, okay, good. There we go. I mean, he's going to hurt these guys quite a bit. Yeah, he's gone. You've never had this problem with this computer ever before. But oh well. Take out these guys. And you can help take out these guys, actually. Oh. You're there. Can the city not attack? What? Oh, did I just do... Seriously? I have no idea. That's... That was awkward. I guess I don't I don't know. I might just get away with this. Jesus. Oh, uh, more heavy destroyers. I have to rise on you. These guys are- that guy's almost dead. Oh my god. So is he. I might send the Annihilation Barge after him, actually. So I might be able to take him on and get rid of- yes. Do it. For god's sake, get rid of him. Thank you. Wait. The city can only attack once? Ooh, I thought it could be a regular thing. I guess not. Okay, well, it's annoying that this is a two area thing and I can't shoot it. Oh well, I guess that's what you have to deal with. Getting rid of that Triarch Stalker was actually pretty good. Let's have you move over here. That, they don't do nearly, they don't even do as much damage as the Warriors against them, against him, so I'm just gonna move them down this way and flank, I guess. Sorry guys, I get very flustered whenever stuff like this happens and it's like, I'm just, uh, it's, it's a lot. I'm not the best at these games. I'm good at the city building and things like that, but when it comes to combat, I'm in like warfare, I'm not very good at it. I'm good at defending and getting enough things to do stuff like that, but when you're fighting against somebody at almost the same, actually higher tier than you are, it's like, I, I'm, I get beat, I don't like it. All right, let's actually get another one of these. Um, you, oh, we got another tile going, all right. Or is always good, like I say. Um, fuck it, yeah, more ore, influence, and s research. There we go. And then he's probably going to kill him. Yep. Or not, okay. 
He's at Mid-City. Yeah, but they've healed enough that they can actually do that. We're slowly, slowly denting his stuff or whatever. Him or him? Well, those can hurt quite a bit. Hell, they do more damage to the destroyer than they do with, to the destroyer lord, <laughs> to be honest. Oh, we just got this in the bag. And then there's a little bit more. Oh, at least on the upper hand, though, we've got a very powerful army that could take on the other enemy uh, people, I guess. Yeah. I'm... It, it's annoying. I feel better until... Like, I don't feel good until, like, they're pretty much gone. And then it's like, oh, okay, I can chill now. And then I'm fine. With a little bit of, you know combat fatigue or whatever. I'm sure that's a thing you can get while playing games, right? Combat fatigue? <laughs> oh, man. Alright, anyway. Over here, let's actually get... Actually, we need to get a shelter going, so let's put that here. And we can put the Baroque Shrine right there. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Skip. And skip. He's going to finish him off. It's okay, I've got another one in the bag. Ah, they went up and around. All right, I see. I see what you did there. So we can have our destroyers help with that. Ooh, we've got the Triarch Stalker now. Like an enormous spider, a Triarch Stalker looms over the battlefield. Its devastating weaponry, directed by a high-ranking uh, Triarch pra Praetorian. When a Triarch Stalker advances, it does so with a speed and sur surety, surety that belies its jerking gait. Indeed, it can cover all manner of terrain with the deftness and deftness and precision seldom found in the walkers of less advanced races. Cool. All right, now we got the now we got a big gun. Yeah, cycle weapon. Cycle between active weapons, which is really good. Targeting relay. It increases the ranged accuracy of adjacent allied Necron units that are neither vehicles nor fortifications. So, pretty much everything besides our vehicles. Literally everything besides vehicles. Um, and Hammer of Wrath. That's always a good one to get. Quantum Shielding. Increases the armor. Uh, goes on cooldown at the start of the turn if damage is taken. So it adds two armor and then, you know, gets hit. And then, yeah. It's actually a really good thing, even on tabletop. It's super good. Necron Quantum Shielding is a marvel of science. Existing only at the precise moment of deflection. At all other times, there is no indication of its presence. They are, however, uh, tempor oh, temperamental devices, prone to malfunction if overloaded. Yeah, that's one problem, but uh, yeah. Pretty much if you don't make the save in, in the tabletop, then they actually... Let's move you up here. Let's move you up and around because... Going through wired weed is one of the dumbest things you could ever do. These guys can't actually finish him off. Thank God. Finish him. Annihilation barge. Now it's time for you to kick some ass. Actually do what you're here for. Overwatch means nothing. They look so cool. Um, how I want to paint my Necron when I get them is to actually, like, have, have a metal color, not the blue on top, but, uh, have the metal look to it, probably like a darker kind of metal look with a blue, with a light, like, ice blue kind of thing in these cracks and things like that and make it, I mean, I've, I've never 
I haven't painted models before. Not even my D&D miniatures I've painted before. Um, which, I need practice. I, I actually got paints and things like that for it. I just need practice. But... It's like, mind you guys, I just got into the Warhammer hobby, sort of. Oh, wow. What, what the hell happened there? Uh, two years ago. Roughly about two years ago. And... Oh, excuse me. And actually, uh... Ooh. Yeah, these guys just hit hard. Anyway, with uh, with with the only sources that I had for the actual hobby were the codexes. Uh, my brother and I just we started doing the uh, tabletop simulator stuff not too long ago, but uh. So yeah, that's what we've been playing on because we don't have the models, which I am okay with. But uh, anyway, let's get you leveled up against these guys that you're supposed to kill. All right, and then you guys just go there, finish them off. Did I defeat the army? So I destroyed their tomb blades. Yes, I did. Oh. oh. Wow. But we get 100 energy, influence, and ore out of that. What a loss. Your people turn to such mindless horrors. Uh, Esten reports that many such dooms have befallen the Necron people since awakening, for daring to raise their hands against their gods. All right. Anyway, there's a lot of talk about, you know, the tabletop and things like that, but that's what I like doing during a game like this because it's all together and, you know, it's, it fits and there's nothing else to talk about besides what you're actually doing, you know, turn by turn in the game. So that is what I'm going to do, but I'm going to end the episode here. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. There was a lot of my frustrations and things like that. Hopefully it's not too much. I will be cutting some things out just because... This is a longer episode than normal, 56 minutes and going. But, um, yeah, please leave down comments down below of how you think about this game. And also, if you want to get it, um, I will put a link in the description uh, for the Steam page and all that fun stuff. Please like and subscribe. That will help out a lot. It will mean a lot. I'll really appreciate it. And also share this video uh, with any friends that are into these types of games. If you have Warhammer friends that want to play games, um that are fun related to this thing. This is definitely a fun one. Uh, there's one that I uh, want to get into is uh, the Space Hulk Deathwing. But for Mike, for my brother's computer, it is so graphically intense. It's it's a lot. It like actually wears out the fans a lot and overheats a lot. So I'm when I get my computer, which I have a plan for it. So when I do get money, I'm going to slowly get it. And uh, it's going to be a beast. So it's going to be awesome. But Anyway, I hope you guys have a good rest of your week. I'll see you next video. Until then, take care.